Hey guys, so it's time to do a quick little benchmark speed comparison here with the Geekbench 3 uh, on all of the iPhones that can run iOS 8.2, the latest beta, which is just an update there for mostly uh, developers uh, that can develop apps for the Apple Watch with uh, like using the watch kit. And um, yeah, so let's take a quick little look at it here uh, with a benchmark test with this app. So you can see here if I go into settings, you can see they're running the correct or the same kind of um, version here. Sweet. So he's gonna now So let's just open up here the um, the program. And I'm just gonna start here on the slowest iPhones first. So as I said there, 4S, 5, 5S, 6 plus and um, or I mean 6 and 6 plus. I don't have the iPhone 5C here, maybe I should, but it has the same internals as the iPhone 5. So probably not going to be a big difference there. So you going to just see when Apple go with the first quad core phone. See what kind of um, even more performance we can cram out out of Apple devices because we do know that Apple is really really good at optimizing the experience have a good uh, game experience but imagine even with like quad core and they all already have i think like triple core or something uh, not uh, in it's not their gpu but even more power in the future is going to be really really cool to see uh, android definitely has a long way to go there i think even though some games are very, very similar experience to apple but yeah overall it needs to be a little bit better there and it probably will become better here in the future. So you can see here, I got a high score here uh, on the iPhone 6 and then the 6 Plus. And then we do have the uh, iPhone 5S, which um, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a speed bump here uh, to the 6 and the 6 Plus, but not something that you, you're gonna upgrade over uh, because it's like, it's such a small difference. Maybe like 10, 20% faster or something, I mean, what is that? I don't know math in my head. That's not even 20%, that's like 14. Hmm. Two. Let's see here if I can do some math. It takes some time here on the iPhone 4S. Um, 14, if we split that by 10, 1.4. So is this like, I think this one could, the 6 and the 6 plus is like 10%, 10-15% faster here uh, than the iPhone 5s. Then we have uh, twice the speed difference here between the uh, 5 and the 5s, which is very, very nice. Very, very nice speed bump there. Uh, and then we do have an even bigger speed bump here between the, um, uh, between the iPhone 5 and the 4s. Run where the five um, iPhone five they get like three times the score of an iPhone four S. So uh, it's interesting here how they made a small update here. Hopefully we can get a very very uh, nice update again now uh, with uh, with iPhone six S, or maybe they're gonna do that in the, the next next generation uh, iPhone uh, seven. <laughs> it sounds weird to say iPhone seven, but yeah, you can see here. I think this one actually gets higher than what it usually seems to be getting, a little bit higher there. Maybe they have optimized the score a little bit there. So yeah, quick little video, uh, checking that out, uh, just for fun. This is a geek channel, so definitely let me know if there's any game you want me to check out or anything else. So have a lot of